I'm gonna wait till we get some more people on here, man. Good morning, Grand Rising. Um, I'm not happy about this at all. Not happy about this at all. Um, I'm not happy about this at all. This damn former deputy, Grand Rising, um, and, and uh, Miss Booker, let me show you so you don't think I'm, <laughs> I'm BSing. The uh, flyer is done, so I'll be sending that to you. Um, but I got, I got to, I, I got to just kind of fuck my morning up. Caesar Stanton was the black man driving early in the morning uh, downtown when this sheriff's deputy blew the light, crashed into him, and killed him recklessly. Do you know that they gave this motherfucker six months? They gave him six months for killing somebody in a crash on duty in a crash that killed a man. He got six months for this shit. Who the fuck is this judge? And what the fuck are they doing at the DA's office? I cannot tell you how ridiculous this is. This is his name. His name is Joel Streacher. This mother... And I, I, I really wanted to do this because I want to apologize to his family. Because we have not... We did not... We dropped the ball on this shit. I have made multiple posts. I have made some noise about this case one of the things is the hiding of his identity the one of the other things is that he was not fired he was allowed to resign he they gave him enough fucking time to resign rather than be fired but you kill someone and, and I'm even more offended by what he said in court when he got to speak. Because I, I'm going to show you the type of... See, whoever this judge is right here, whoever this, this motherfucker is right here, somebody slapped this bitch upside her head with the gavel. And, and I'm not advocating, but I'm not saying somebody actually do this shit. I'm, I'm just I'm saying, you know, what all of us... <laughs> what the fuck... What are y'all doing at the DA's office? What are y'all doing? You know how many people get accidentally killed who are not officers of the law, who are not paid professionals? You don't this the worst thing is not even when they don't care, it's when they um the condescending and the playing with our intelligence um and the, this whole attitude like it's, it's this ain't an oops moment. This ain't a mistake you get to make and get six months for. Y'all killed, uh, y'all killed dude. He killed dude. He killed him. Flat out. No if, ands, or but. Didn't even hit the brakes. He killed him. And he got six fucking months. Six months in, six months in jail. What what is going on here? I cannot believe I can't believe this shit. Who offered him who made the decision to offer him six months? What did what did he get charged with? He got charged with neg homicide by negligent operation of a county squad car. Homicide by negligent operation. 
Hmm, let me see something. Let's Google this real quick. Of a motor vehicle, Wisconsin. Let's see something real quick. Oh, now they they set his to in a county vehicle, right? Six months he got. Six months, right? Watch this shit. Homicide by negligent, negligent operation of a, v, a regular car. If you were to do this in a regular fucking car, guess 10 years. 10 fucking years this, this carries. How the fuck did he get six months? How? Please explain to me how. The car did not malfunction. You blew through a fucking light. The same shit we see cops do all the fucking time. Sometimes they courteous enough to, to turn their lights on and just drive through the fucking light. Ain't going nowhere. Get through the goddamn light and turn the lights right back off. The same shit we see them fucking do. This shit, man, is a fucking problem, man. If you were to do this in a regular car, the same charge, you it's a 10 years. It's a 10 year charge. How do you get six months, fam? How, how do you get six months? I really don't understand why people think we complain about this shit. Like it's something wrong with us pointing this shit out. That's ridiculous. That's not even 10% of the fuck. This nigga's doing less than 10% of what the charges were. He's doing... <laughs> Bruh, bruh, I, I really can't, I really can't understand this. And this is the, the DA's fault, the prosecutors, who allowed whatever fucking deal he took. <sighs> bruh, there's no way he should be doing six months off of this. And it's be, and I, and I would like to apologize to the entire fucking city and to his family, because we dropped the fucking ball on this case. There is no way this should have been. Ha this, there's no way. There's no way. And 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 I was saying, I'm more offended by what he fucking said in court. I didn't catch it at first, but then I did because I, I, it's after I heard him say it. I thought I can't even really listen to the rest of it because I'm I, I was stuck on what he said. Check this shit out. Uh, yes, Judge. It appears that that's a letter. Again, I'll give you the admonition. Hopefully y'all can hear Read this. it slowly, if yes, that's sir. what you're doing. Thank you. Yes, I want to thank you, Your Honor, for allowing me to speak. Um, first thing I would like to say is, is to the victims in this. Um, I want them to know how very sorry I am. It may not have been conveyed prior to this because I haven't had the opportunity, but I'm... I am beyond sorry for this. Um, from everything I've heard about Mr. Stinson, he was a, an incredible person, and he was loved by his family, obviously, and loved by his friends and by the community, and he was a positive pillar in the community from what I've heard. And he did not deserve to have his life in the way it did. Hold on. And his family and friends did not Hold deserve on. to lose him in the right way there. it did. He heard he was a positive pillar in the community and he didn't deserve. I don't give a fuck if he didn't do shit in the fucking community. You crash into a motherfucker on duty and kill them. I don't give a fuck if they don't even have a high school diploma, motherfucker. You should be fucking sorry and they don't deserve that shit. Be but because he was who he was, that makes you, oh, it's okay to be sorry for him and he don't deserve it then. That's what he just said. Why are there stipulations on why a person would deserve to not be killed by you for no fucking reason? You said this shit in court and they still allowed you to, to get off with six fucking months. Six months. You're not even going to go to prison. You're not going to go to actual prison with six months. They know this. If you get anything under a year, you're not going to actual real prison. 
So this motherfucker ain't even going to prison. This ain't even prison time. For killing someone. You killed someone. When I tell you, fam, I I I they can't explain this. You cannot not you can't explain this. This is a, a, a fuck up for the judge and for the prosecutors in the DA's office. How, again, do you give someone less than 10% of what this charge is supposed to be worth? This is a 10-year crime. Guy, this man six months. And again, he's not going to go to, he's not going to touch an actual prison because you don't go to prison with under a year. I'm, I'm, we are, we are no further from 300 something odd days ago. I, I appreciate that we have different leadership in, in the, the, the uh, police department and the changes that have been made, um, the progress that is in, that is in progress, but it's nowhere near, no, we're at less than 10% of where the fuck we need to be. The same as this goddamn case. And again, I apologize on behalf of not just myself, but to the entire fucking movement to this city and to his family, because this type of shit can continue to happen. This happened and it can continue to happen because we dropped the ball on this shit. I will say again, a, a while back, I posted and I apologize because I got on Sheriff Lucas ass about why was he allowed? Why was he not fired? And he said that he did actually put in for him to be fired, but it had to go through the county the same way that it has to go through the fire police commission. And within that time, he was allowed, he just resigned. But I believe in these instances, there should be like a special session where if a motherfucker do some shit like this, that a special session needs to be called immediately. And this month, these motherfuckers need to be fired. They should not give be given any amount of time to resign. They should not be given time to resign. We've had officers literally tell us that they that they have processes in order where if a person is about to get fired or about to get investigated, they will show up to that motherfucking house and tell him ahead of time so he can resign. The system ain't fucking working. Y'all have your own y'all have the shit set up and then y'all have loopholes set up for yourselves. Because again, a regular fucking person for the charge that he has, this is a 10 year charge and he has six fucking months. That don't sound like you sorry to me. I wouldn't accept that fucking deal, man. I wouldn't accept that's a disrespect to his fucking family, man. And to his fucking memory. Why would you accept six months? I know no motherfucker, but y'all want people to, y'all want people in the community to see this shit and y'all want them to feel like they should turn themselves in when they kill somebody though. But y'all get to do shit like this. Y'all ain't giving up. Ain't no motherfucker who out here shooting people or hitting people with cars, crashing and wrecking. You think they're going to turn themselves in? They're not going to get 10% of shit. Nigga, this ain't a uh, church. This is not tides, nigga. I think Caesar standing was 51. He wasn't a young man. He was a, a um, he was 51 years old. He was young to be killed that way. I think that we should hold a huge fucking demonstration today. And we should speak out about this shit. I think we should throw a huge demonstration today and we should speak out about this shit because we cannot allow this to fucking go silently or quietly. This is fucking ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So I'm, I'm going to do some reaching out today because I, I just can't, fam. I can't with this. I cannot with this, man. 
This is a failure, a complete failure. A and, and they should sue. They should sue any and everybody that they look at who had anything to do with this shit. This is why qualified immunity needs to end because his ass, his ass should fucking get out in six months with nothing. This nigga should be getting out with and have to wear the jail flip flops. All right. He should, whatever he has to wear in regular jail where he's going, probably going to be in protective cuz he ain't bro. This who we, Qualified immunity has to end. Because these motherfuckers, he don't give a fuck. They ain't, he's not finna lose anything. He can go get a regular goddamn job somewhere when he gets out in six fucking months. And and Lord fucking knows what he what he can still get because he resigned rather than get got, got then got fired. Qualified immunity has to end because these motherfuckers need to be sued personally and directly for the shit that they're fucking doing. They should not be able to lay that shit at the hands and feet of the county, the city, the, the department, none of that shit. They should be able to lose every fucking thing they own when they do shit like this. And he can sit there and say, I, I'm sorry, but you accepted six months. That is how you say you're sorry. You shouldn't even accept it, that shit. That, how does that sound? I would, come on, man. And who the fuck told you he claimed that he wanted to say I'm sorry, but somebody directed him not to? Who the fuck told you not to? Who told you to not apologize if you were sorry and going to take responsibility? Who told you that the right thing to do was to be not to say that I'm sorry for killing your family member? Who told you that? Again, I believe we need to hold a huge demonstration today in honor of Caesar Stinton. And we need to speak out about this type of fuck shit. With all the, the, the so-called progress that we have made, this shit sets whatever the fuck we talking about. It just it just breaks. This is like, dude, fuck this shit. What are we talking about here? What are we doing? Because even when they go to jail, they don't really go to jail. Do y'all hear that? Even when they go to jail, they don't go to jail. Again, whatever the process is, when a officer like Joel uh, uh, um, Mattioli, like officer Matti former officer uh, Mattioli, like this motherfucker right here, when they do shit like this, there should be able to be a special immediate session called for them to get fired. They should not have no fucking time to resign. They should not be given any fucking privilege, no forward thought that this is coming up and you might want to look out. And if any one of you fucking officers go and tell them and inform them to give them uh, a heads up, your ass should be fucking fired or disciplined too. I'm saying, man, all this shit that y'all doing, man, it, it's just, it's too many fucking loopholes for y'all. Ain't no fucking loopholes for us. There's no fucking loopholes. There's luck. Sometimes a motherfucker get lucky around this bitch. Sometimes. But ain't no fucking loopholes. Ain't no benefits of the fucking doubt. His policing don't have shit. Whatever he did in his uh, stint as a law enforcement, whatever accolades, he, that shit don't have nothing to do with him killing this person and the circumstances surrounding it. It has nothing to do with that shit. That's it for my, my rant today. Um, I just, I, bruh, I, I, I'm like, I want to slap my phone because I don't even know how that shit came to It's like, I have certain um, apps, like a news break app and stuff like that. So, I don't know why this stuff pops up 
Like, like it knows to show me this type of shit. I did not want to see that today. And while we talking about fuck shit, I'm not, I'm not even going to do that on here because I don't want to taint what I'm talking about specifically to brother Caesar Stanton. I'm not going to taint him. I'm not going to disrespect the conversation by even mentioning this fucking idiot in the same live as him. So I'm going to do that separately. But it's a lot of dumb ass shit going on. But let's get this. Let's get this taken care of. Let's get um something going today in his honor and in his memory. If anybody knows and can contact the family, I would like for them to come. Because again, man, we owe them a huge fucking apology. This 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 is I feel like this is partially on us because they were allowed to do this. And nobody was paying attention. We dropped the ball on it. We have not been as vocal or as present in this specific case. And I believe that has enabled this type of dumbass shit to happen. What's good? And for those who are just now joining the conversation, uh, a former Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputy has been sen sentenced to six months in jail, followed by two years probation for hitting and killing Milwaukee public, public schools lobbyists in a January 2020 crash. Um, he pleaded guilty to one count of homicide by negligent operation of a county squad car. Um. That charge for a regular person carries 10 years. He he got six months. So if you're just joining us, this is what the problem is. Because you are law enforcement, some way, somehow, you get to plead guilty to a charge that carries 10, month, 10 years, and you get six months for that. But a person is dead, violently killed, no brakes used at all, he claimed, and even in his apology, he claimed it was a stupid mental lapse. How the fuck, how do you have a mental lapse while driving on duty in a goddamn squad car and kill some fucking body and accept six months in jail, fam? I, you cannot make that make sense to me. And again, the DA's office, the prosecutors, the judge, all are complicit in this. This is a fucking egregious judgment. This shit, this is like, this ain't even sentences. This is like, this is, this is like a fucking award. What the fuck? And he's not even going to actual prison. He's not going to actual prison. I'm telling y'all, the George Floyd situation. I I do believe that they may that that he's going to be found guilty. My problem is the same as the, um, the case, uh, where the cop killed um, John, uh, or Gene or whatever his name is, the guy in uh I think Texas where she came in the wrong apartment. It ain't that people can't be found guilty it's the fucking ridiculous uh um slap in the face ass amounts of time that they give them for what they did and i'm telling you the attitude man the attitude when it comes to white supremacy the attitude and they it, it, i don't give a damn if people don't think they racist or not this shit this is subconsciously ingrained in your ass to not want to see a motherfucker who look like you be, get in trouble i was having a conversation about qualified immunity with a re white republican um who's in the process of making some legislations and he said to me that he don't believe these are bad people and this is why he's saying the party and other folks uh, predominantly white men um, don't believe people should be able to be sued um, or have qualified immunity taken away because they don't feel that that these people are bad people and they don't think they should lose their homes and all this other shit for a mistake. That ain't no fucking mistake, man. What dude did to George Floyd wasn't no fucking mistake. That 
motherfucker de deserves to lose more than a fucking house. He, they should be sued to lay under the goddamn bridge some fucking where. You don't think they deserve that for killing somebody like that? For thinking so low of a human being that you're going to put your fucking knee. Listen, I fight. I, I'm like a, I'm a fighter. I have enough sense to where I, if I, if I'm beating your ass, I don't want to beat you like senseless, bloody, where you'll have con contusions and possibly be hospitalized. I'm going to like, at, at a certain point, you lost. I'm going to stop hitting you, fam. Like, come on, bruh, you want to stop? Like, do you, would you like to carry on? If I, as a regular person, have that amount of restraint, fam, you don't have that as a fucking law enforcement officer? To twist somebody's fucking hand all the way up to the fucking elbow backwards till their elbow can touch their head. You don't have the restraint to not do that to somebody. I'm looking at videos of people in handcuffs being slammed on their fucking face, teeth knocked out, nose broke. Th these ain't mistakes, Sam. These are not fucking mistakes. This is these people's fucking character and their lack of moral compass when it comes to certain people or certain demographics. Because when, when it's another type of motherfucker, they don't go, they don't do all that shit. Same way you know if you come across another law enforcement officer, you treat them differently. Or if you come across a, a high elected official, a mayor or something of that sort, your ass ain't gonna treat them the fucking same as you treat another motherfucker from a certain zip code or, or a certain area of the city. You're not going to treat them the same. Even, even the way you talk to them is going to be different. The discretion and what you charge them with or don't charge them with is going to be different. Whether or not you pull them out of a fucking car for no reason is going to be different. Your level of, I fear for my life, is going to be different when dealing with certain type of motherfuckers versus others. I've seen this shit happen. You have white people that's come forward and saying, I was in the same situation. They didn't treat me like that. Like, it's so funny the times y'all pick and choose to have restraint. These are problems, fam. These are problems that we cannot, we cannot accept this shit. We can't accept this shit. Do you, like, I think we would all want to see an end of having to march and protest. Wouldn't, it, ain't that an ideal world? Is it not an ideal world to where we don't have to take our fucking time and energy and, and go out in the goddamn street and yell at motherfuckers like, this is wrong. Do, do you not think that is like a world we all want to get to? Do y'all think that we just like protesting so much that we can't wait to do it? Or we just can't wait to protest? We ain't going to get there with this shit. We ain't going to get there with motherfuckers claiming they want to change shit and don't really want to change it. And y'all so scared as officers. It, it, it's, like the, it's like this country. This whole country and all of its systems have the same fear. They swear somebody is out to get them. But it's because you motherfuckers do shit like this. And this is why you have to look over your shoulder. As a regular person who don't go mistreat people, I'm not worried that somebody's out to get me. They want me? They talking about me? I'm not worried about that. But if you go around mistreating people, if you go around doing shit to people, your ass is going to be worried about all them people coming back to you. You're going to think everybody is related to them and want to do something to your ass. Maybe you should think about that, America and police. If you are not, does, does pe do people want to just go attack the fire department? Why would they, why would they do that? Why is the fire department not in danger? Why, why, why are certain professions good? Like they, I mean, they may get into some situations where hey, my heart burning up, y'all ain't moving fast enough. Like maybe some shit like that. But for the most part, they are not scared of people like that. Or that somebody is out to get the fire department. 
Because they ain't out there killing motherfuckers and, and getting six months for it. Maybe you should try to be more like them other motherfuckers. I don't spend too much goddamn time on this live. Um, let's get something done today, y'all. We have to. We have to do this. We cannot let this go quietly. We can't let this go unnoticed. We can't let. We we have to go tell it on the mountains, motherfucker. About everybody that has something to do with this shit. Need they ass slapped? I'm talking about a uh, motherfucker in an eight ball jacket slapped. I'm talking about you going to jail now, uppercut. Because <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you was thinking when you let this motherfucker get six months for killing somebody. <sighs> All right, y'all. All right. God damn. Listen, I don't have enough jokes to, uh, to uh, go back and recap again. Hopefully this one. Hey, man. What's good? What's good? What are you finna do? I think we need to go pay uh downtown a visit, the courthouse a visit. Yeah. So this is the thing, though. They've been talking about this for a while now about this case, this situation, right? And people was already saying like, oh, he gonna go off easy. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be it's gonna be easy for him. And this is why we need more people to be upset and get mad and get involved type shit. Cause there's no reason why a, pol a sheriff, police officer, whoever should be able to get away with murder right in front of our face. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, we need a new DA. If y'all watching this and y'all know somebody, Tell them they need to be the DA. If they a lawyer or something, hey, especially black folks, because we can't be going through this. We can't keep going through this type of stuff. This man wasn't doing nothing but minding his damn business. He was driving down the street, minding his damn business. And this man decided to run a light. To me, this is it's no different than uh, like one of our comrades in um, uh, uh, Goddamn! In the dream team, whose son was just shot uh, driving down the street, he got caught in a shootout. It's no different than that, because you got somebody who's trying to get from point A to point B, and they just get they life taken away from them. Now, yep. you got people in jail for that. I I can guarantee you they're not going to get six months, whether they tried to shoot him or not. They gonna get held responsible to the fullest extent of the law. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that's what they reserve for us, but they don't reserve that for them. Yeah, man. That's, I just, that really, I want to try to see that. So we downtown today or what? We downtown. We need everybody to come out for real. We need y'all yeah. to come out for real. It's supposed to be, for real. It's supposed to be uh, nice today, I think. It's been raining all morning, but it's going to be nicer later, and it's still going to be in the 60s. So if y'all out there and y'all give a fuck about getting justice for all of us and also holding these people accountable, that's the number one thing. It's it's bad enough that you, they can't control their actions. We, we got that part. We know they can't control themselves. We know they can't do none of that. But the basic of accountability, like... We know you dead ass wrong, but we still gonna cover it up anyway. Like, nah, that shit is not okay. That shit is not all right. That's what I'm saying. Like, what kind of message does it send to officers who already do? I yes. I got footage of a cop just like a year or two ago. No, it had to be like two or three years ago. Sherman Char Avenue Locust blew through the light, hit two cars, and then drove the fuck off. Look them. Hell no. Nah. Like, what message is this sending to them? If we want to crack down on reckless drivers, you can't be recklessly fucking driving your goddamn self. Come on, man. I, I really don't understand how we're going to fix shit if we keep letting motherfuckers just run around 
doing this type of shit and give them and, and let them get off with this pinch ass shit. This is a pinch. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, man. They not even that's not even six months in jail is it's nothing. It's really not. And then two two years of probation. But somebody died though. Somebody died. Somebody lost their life. Come on now, what y'all doing? Yeah, that's, that's um let's just put like I said, man, we can have you know, like a, a, a moment of respect and, and support for his family and um like really yes. you know, get on these folks that got something that has something to do with this decision. Um and draw some it all ties to the DA's office as well as with the case of Joel Lacevedo and why those two other people are not being charged, but they're being used as witnesses. It's the DA. It's the DA's office. Those are the people that's supposed to be holding these these police officers and sheriffs and all these different people accountable. It's on them. And mm -hmm. that's that's who really needs to hear that noise because they don't care about us. It's very evident that they do not care about us. Very evident. And like I said, yeah. additionally, they shouldn't they, like we should have an end to this system that allows them to resign rather than be fired. Um, again, man, we should be able to if, if they do shit like this, it should be like a ability to call a special session, whether from the common council, the FPC, the county board, because with him, it it had to have went through the county board for him to lose his job the same way it has to go to FPC. That was what was told to me. And that's what mm -hmm. gave him the time to resign rather than get fired. Because he just resigned before he was, you know, the process went through. But that process should be no timely thing that allows them to, to do that. So even even that process, you know what I mean? Because it's just I feel like if an officer, if a if a police officer is charged with a crime, they should lose their position unless they unless because I know it's a lot of legalities about it. Yeah. But like, if I get fired for something that I did at work, or if I do something at work and I get fired, it is what it is. Like, there, I can't argue to keep my job if I did something fucked up. And that's that's where it comes in line with. Um. Oh, excuse me. It comes in line with them holding them accountable at the end of the day. Like, you shouldn't be able to resign. Like, they should just be like, it's rats. Like, your job is done for. And then if you end up being innocent or not, or you, you know what I'm saying, you don't get convicted, then maybe you could think about getting your job back. But shit, not even that. Yeah. How many people out here can't find work? Can't get no job? Because they in the court system. Yeah. It's um... a lot of them. I agree, Dusty. It's a lot of them. And, and I'm not sure if the sheriffs and the police use the same unions, but the unions are an issue. They are an issue and a problem. But again, yes. you take that away by changing the setup of, you know, the union ain't got shit to do with if if the, the process is put in for, for that person to be fired, the amount of time they get, and you know what I mean? Somebody giving them a heads up. They don't have to tell the fucking, you know, like, it's just ways you can make it less of a loophole for them or give them less um, space to, to get away with the shit the way that they are. And the police union has so much power over our city. Like, they literally, when they was, what, what tripped me out was when they was talking about banning the chokeholds, um, and they was like, we gotta find out if the police union can sue us for this or not. But should no entity have that much power Really consider decisions that that makes. I mean, I wish we had the uh, the power structure and the the people power here to to really truly do boycotts, man. Because we can figure out who's supporting these folks, who's supporting their unions, who's supporting the legislation that that um makes this stuff possible against citizens and residents and we should be able to fucking take our our money from them we should be able to stop shopping with them to the point where they stop supporting these people 
That's a good mm-hmm. easy thing to do. But you see, we can't even get people to stop going to Mayfair after years and years and years and years of the shit that happens at Mayfair. We can't even get people to stop going. Yeah. So, I, I just wish, man, we had, I mean, it's always the few that's going to stand up. It's always the few that's going to, you know, hold that line. But you already know, man, they got a power structure. They got the thin blue line. They got the blue line, the strong line, the, the, all the lines stand strong. The green line. The Shit. It's a lot of them. But yeah, I'm finna hop off in here, but I just want, wanted to let you know, man, I appreciate you uh, speaking on this today, too, because this was something that I I noticed and I thought it was wild, like, when I first heard about it months ago, and I just was asking people around, do y'all know about this? Like, nobody knew about it. So, I appreciate you um, taking time and really discussing this situation. Um, and we out here today. We out here today. We not we, we not finna be silent about this shit because it's wrong. All right, I'll, I'll link back in with you and see what we can come up with. All right. All right, love. Kick me off of this thing. How you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Like I said, man, the most frustrating part is uh, the, I just, I just really wish, like I said, man, the only answer I see is for us to break off, become our own township and just restart all our own shit and control everything. That's the only way that I can see this shit changing. We have to start carving out our own spaces in these cities becoming our own townships and then we put the people and the and we create everything we control everything we have to say in everything once you do that all the different positions of leadership the mayor all that can be redone we can start with who the, who we need and who we want that's the only because it's so much resistance and bullshitting when it comes to these larger systems that we already in we are part of somebody else's system this shit is so entrenched and complicity. So many of these systems are just complicit. They buddies with each other. And I'm going to tell you, um, in battle rap, battle rap has, has modeled itself the same way our political leadership has, where you have something called a brotherhood, or, or even just in general, like you have groups of people who will not say somebody that's their friend lost. Because when it comes time for them and they lose, they want them people to support them and say they didn't lose either, right? So this is how our systems operate. You got these people who cover for one another because they feel like at some point, I'm going to need cover. So it's a favor for a favor. The same way in all these fucking systems, they cover each other ass. And we, how do we get around that? How do we get around that? Again, we got to get enough people in the city of the Milwaukee, it could be the north side. North Milwaukee can can become its own fucking thing. We, let's carve out. Let's get a fucking petition. We get enough people in that parameter to say, let's start a new city inside of Milwaukee, and let's fucking just choose all new leadership. We can do that. That's a doable fucking thing. It is. Other than that, I don't see us winning with this shit because it just, I really, I'm, I'm really not understanding. I'm really not, ain't nobody at the top using a platform in a, in a space that's going to allow us to, to get to the amounts of the, the levels of progress that we need it to be. We can't control what the fuck they do. We can't even agree amongst each other to whether to get these people out or to revote them in. Everybody has alliances and friendships, and this is a buddy-buddy built system. Whether it comes to grants, whether it comes to law changes, whether it, all of this shit is set up in buddy-buddy systems. And you got black folks who align themselves with white supremacy because they got getting their money from them, they getting their contracts from them, they feel as though they are helping them personally, or that's their personal friend. So they're going to protect and go against the grain when we even try to get these people out of there. You can't tell me, man, it, it ain't nobody in our community that we know, that we somebody grew up with, and they know this person, and this person can't leave a city. 
We can't. We come on, man. We got. We we don't have that much faith in ourselves. We don't have the. As, come on, man. Everybody knows the basic principles of what to do and what not to do in life. We got folks, you know, who are economically sound and educated. We got people who are politically sound and educated, business wise. We got people who can take all these positions, fam. We do have people who are qualified, who are more than qualified to lead us properly. Or at least who have enough of a, uh, a, a concept of community and love for themselves and for their people to listen to what the people want. Either, either way is fine with me. But what the fuck we going to do with this shit? Because it, it ain't enough of us standing up. It ain't enough of us in agreement to get them to do what the fuck we want them to do. They can go find two or three <laughs> tainted Negroes to be like, well, they don't, they don't all want it. These three over here said no. I'm just saying, fam. A family can get a private investigator. A family can get an attorney. And an attorney can ask questions and gather information. Absolutely, they can do that all day. But this is a case that's already settled. This is a criminal case that's already settled. They can't do shit about him getting six months. Not at this point. He's sentenced. He got it. But we need to be able to prevent that type of shit from happening ever again. Like, I, I don't know, fam. I don't know. I ain't got all the answers, Sway. I don't. Um, but I know I got some of them. And I ain't come up with all of them. It's just common sense to me. I'm pretty sure this is something that people have, somebody already said, somebody already presented. Um, it, it just has not been brought to the masses of people or, or it's been an amount of time. Um, and, and, you know, I got six months. Uh, the officer that killed Caesar Stanton in a car crash downtown, uh, former sheriff deputy, um, blew through a light, killed Caesar Stanton, and he was sentenced to six months. So, again, um, I said all I can say. Um, again, man, at some point, our our reach and our platform has to grow. And again, um, you know, somebody, it's it's just crazy, man. It's really crazy. And again, man, we have to all want to see a bigger, better, safer city for everybody, not just for certain parts of town, not just for certain parts that got certain economic statuses. We have to do away with that shit, man. We have to do away with that shit. This, this fucking capitalistic seesaw that for, if, if you... You know, it's like, yo, yo, it's not balanced. It's for us to stay up here, you got to be down here. You have to be down here for me to be up here. And I don't want it to even out. I don't want it to even be close. So we got to keep your ass down here. This is what we live in. We live in a capitalistic society, which in, in all honesty, capitalism, especially the way it's done in this nation, is racism. It's, it's done that way. We're going to maintain the power and the economic power and, and status in order, in order to do that, everybody who's not us has to be down here. And as long as black people are at the very, very bottom, everybody good. Because everybody else getting something. They're getting something. They're getting something. And as long as it's a little bit more than black people, we good. We, we all right. You all right with me. I'm telling you, man, I'm, we got to demand more. I'm not... I don't care who you are. If you're not doing the most you can do, if you're not utilizing your platform, your your seat, whatever it is, for the betterment and the empowerment and the protection of people who can vote your ass in, your ass don't need to be there. And I'm going to tell you you wrong. I won't have a problem doing it publicly. I do understand there are ones of us who do that shit and they get they get targeted too. They get targeted too. So uh, some of this is very little of it. It's only certain people who go out of their way to to speak on behalf or to stand up for people, but they get so targeted and ostracized they damn self. This is part of the reason. And I'm like, it's enough of y'all to all stand up together and protect each other. 
it's enough of y'all to do that, but I don't know, man. I, this this right here is just not right. It's just like I said, man. If people don't want to make it about black and white or about race, then it's just about right and wrong. There's no way you can say this is a right decision. There's no way any human being with anything within themselves that knows that knows anything that, that, that knows right from wrong has any humanity or civility in themselves cannot say this is right. You can't say it. You can't say it with a you there's some people who can probably say it with a straight face because they used to lie. But with a like you actually mean it? Oh, you a fucked up motherfucker. Oh, you 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 troubled, troubled, motherfucker. All right, I done said I'm getting off of here uh, several times, so <laughs> it ain't that I lied. <laughs> Y'all keep like, what happened? As soon as I get ready to go off, somebody get like, what happened? Yeah, start all the way over. All right, y'all. Uh, 